And what is up, Moose Sword? Yes, we are back at the iron farm slash train hall because we needed some stuff. And yes, you're probably wondering why I'm in diamond armor. Well, I'm going to roll the clips that explain all this in finer detail. As you're seeing now, we have found a Moose Room Island. Yes, guys, I went out exploring and found a Moose Room Island that is not only connected to a savanna, but the Moose Room Island and the savanna is connected to a snowy spruce forest. Yes, guys, I have not seen this at all. But after that, I came home and decided to do some in raiding because, well, I wanted another Elytra and I needed more shulker shells for my ever growing problem of storage. And I had some success. Yes, as you're seeing now, I had some success. But after that, I found another in city and I forgot to hit record. I went into the giant room that is in the mega in cities and yes as you are seeing in the screenshot I have died I have died I have died uh, luckily I was wearing a pumpkin as not to anger the endermen so I got to keep my netherite helmet and on better luck, because I like to mine in between episodes, I had spare diamonds. Like I like I have several blocks of diamonds, nowhere near like even a small um, beacon base. But yes, yes, I'm thinking what we're going to do into in today's episode is get some more diamonds so I can have backups on my backups. And yeah, get some more books to enchant those backups on backups and maybe some like gear for the backups on backups. But yeah, guys, I, yeah, I think that's the plans for today. So I will see y'all on the other side of the intro. Whoa, what was that? You heard that rumble. Everything started shaking. Um, I kind of ducked into the AFK area, so I didn't see much. But when I came out, the tower's still standing. The bee farm's still there. The giant spruce tree is still there. Yeah, everything seems fine, but that was still a lot of shaking for... What is that? Okay, guys. Being straight up here. I'm straight up with you. I do build stuff off camera. I mean, that is evident by the tree. I built like a zero tickish um, kelp farm. I even built a fish farm, like a semi AFK able fish farm off camera just so I can get early game loot. But yeah, I, I swear to you, 
I swear to you. Moose's honor. I did not build this. I did not build this at all. So, something's going on here because I don't let anybody on this world. This is a strictly YouTube friendly world. Like, this is the world that I make content for you guys out there. But this, I did not build. Um, I did not build this in any way or form. And it's actually kind of creeping me out a little bit, guys, because, like, I, like I said, my whole Minecraft world started shaking. I even had to duck for cover in my AFK area. Um, there's a lectern here, so we have that. There's a lectern here. Um, uh, and a book in it. So, okay, there are words in this book. So, what I am going to do is I am going to get into my storytelling voice. And we are going to read this book. This is the Magnificent Earth Golem. Complete their task and it will protect your builds. Don't and get a special surprise. Listen to the Dark Golem and prosper. Don't and suffer. Some rules before you task begins. Okay, they don't know how to spell your because that's supposed to be a your. Not a you. But let's continue. Unless said otherwise, all tasks must be completed in 30 MC days. I guess that's Minecraft. Makes sense. All items must be offered on the brown carpet. So just, just two rules. Just two rules. All tasks given must be completed in 30 Minecraft days. And all items that, uh, I guess, is ta gathered in the task must be offered up on this brown carpet. Yeah, carpet. Words are difficult because, I mean, I have an intruder in my world. But I guess this right here is the task. Bring me 64 prismarine shards. Um... I was supposed to be getting backups today for my backups and like enchanting them all. I, I don't really have time for this. I mean, but if this book is to be like believed, we don't want to disobey this thing because we're going to get a quote unquote special surprise. <laughs> and then it goes on to say, listen to the earth golem and prosper, don't, and suffer, that sounds like a threat to me, so, this, if this thing is to be believed, this is probably not the main body, the main body is probably in the earth somehow, and yeah, this thing would be ginormous, so we don't want to make it mad, so, like, I had plans for this spot though, like, I had spent plans for this spot, and it just kind of, like, plops its little operation to get free stuff for me right here. I mean, we're going to do it, but I'm, I'm not to say that this doesn't upset me a little, because I was going to put a giant wheat farm here. Well, wheat field. I was going to put a barn over there to put my like barn animals in and then I was probably going to put like a couple silos out here just to make it look nice like farmland maybe like a um barn like a farmer's house yeah just make it look all prim and proper and like I'm not sure if I can do this now because we have an intruder well like like I said if the book is to be, be believed we need to do this and I need to get some stuff ready. Well, first thing I need to get ready is right here. We have some cows. I need, I'm gonna get all these buckets filled up with them because yeah. And I probably want to trap one of these cows. I do not have anything with me. So I'll probably trap another cow in a boat later 
and bring it with me so I have unlimited supply of milk. I also need food, and like I said, I ran a semi AFKable fish farm to get early game loot. And yeah, we smelted up some cooked cod and cooked salmon, so I will probably be using that. But with all that, I still need like a bed, an ender chest, which I have a silk touch book that was part of me getting ready so i can go put down my diamond pickaxe and yeah I, i'm thinking we're just about ready so i will see y'all on my way out to find a uh, ocean monument because now we have to go get 64 prismian shards for an intruder that kind of just popped up in my base randomly so yeah i will see y'all going out there and yes moose horde as indicated by the status effect we are here at the ocean monument and yes we are all ready to start getting those prismarine shards except for there's one problem yeah the mining fatigue and that's not going to be helpful during all this so we kind of need to deal with that so, how do we deal with that? We're going to take care of the ocean monument, and I'm going to set up a little platform, and I will probably see y'all on the other side of the raid. As you've seen in the time lapse, I started to empty out the ocean monument, but I kind of overwhelmed myself a bit, and yeah, that that does not work out. And yeah, I decided to go and get the rest of our shards. Yeah, yeah, we have 64 shards now, and that pesky earth golem. Hopefully, we'll leave us alone for a couple episodes. But, yeah. I did do, like, I did, as you see, clear out this a little bit. But, I did not raid it completely. Yes, I wanted y'all to be here when we got the gold. The gold. The gold. Yes, give me them precious, precious... Wow, that, that was actually not a lot of gold blocks. I was actually expecting more. We only got seven gold blocks. I mean, that doesn't even really add up, if you ask me. Okay, there's the eight. There's the eighth. I was like, I thought there was supposed to be at least eight. I, like, counted eight, like, right off the bat, but hey. Who am I to say? But as we're done with that, we can finally go back and deliver those precious, precious shards. 
Yes, those precious, precious shards. But we probably don't even really need another portal because our base is just right there. It's not even really that far off. In fact, I'm going to show you how close it is in the nether and that will give you roundabout um, the distance it is in the overworld. Yes, if we come back down this tunnel, just a short little walk and bam, you can actually see the base por portal. Yeah, it is literally that close. The base portal is not even 50 blocks away. But we're going to go through and deliver these shards. Um, something seems different. There used to be a lake right there. Yeah, there used to be a lake right there. Um, I don't, what? You can see where it actually has, I didn't know Minecraft evaporate evaporated water like I didn't know this was possible Wh what it shouldn't be possible like and there's a hole a pretty what what is that what there is a meteorite in our lake as you see there is a meteorite right there Oh my god, like, did I do something wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. I followed all the rules. Um, I guess we can go back and look at the book. There's, oh, oh. Do not complain or make fun of the earth golem. I didn't make fun of him, but I did complain about the earth golem plopping right here because we had plans for this area so my guess is it dug itself out the earth and kinda slammed a big piece of rock into here I mean look how deep this thing goes and we like wow it just complete changed the terrain completely I mean do you hear that? I, th I think there's something in There are cows inside of this meteorite. There are cows inside of the meteorite. Um, this is insanity. This is insanity. Complete and utter insanity. Um, we're just going to leave that like that. I, I, I can't complain. I can't complain because something like this might happen again. But this is insane. Like, what? Like, they did say, um, listen and prosper, don't and suffer the consequences. So, I'm guessing this is just one of our consequences. We complained. We broke the rules, so now we have to suffer for breaking the rules. Which, I mean, whatever. Whatever. We went into Minecraft because of no rules, but yeah. Now there's all, all of a sudden these big and important rules. Otherwise, stuff like this happens if we break it. But yeah, I'm guessing we're just going to go and give this person their shards and see, whoa, whoa, I, I, I guess that means they're happy? Yeah, I, I'm guessing that means they're happy because wow, that, that was weird, that was weird. Okay, um, enough time spent on that as we wanted to do in the beginning of the episode. I need backups for my backups and hopefully I can find a, a Litra or two. But 
we are going to have to go for, to the end for that. So, yeah, I'm going to go find me a pumpkin because I don't feel like walking around in the end without a pumpkin. And I will probably see y'all on the other side of a first person. cities and that was nice yes that was nice and as you see on my back yes we got our pancakes back before i came to the end i kind of went to the villager trading hall and the villager that is on top of our tower and got me a mending and unbreaking book so yeah unbreaking three mending pancakes yeah i got my pancakes back i got my pancakes back i got my pan wait pancakes back back pancakes uh, 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 what, what? Uh, okay all uh, going there from there um yeah as you see we got about two shulker bo boxes full it's probably actually really like a shulker and a half full but yeah we got two shulkers full of loot and time to show off the spoils yeah guys as you see we got tons and tons of um armor leggings stuff like that we got a few tools mainly iron tools and probably about half the armor is iron armor we did get a spare elytra and a saddle for some reason but the spare elytra is going to be nice once we get it enchanted just in case i ever lose these pair of pancakes but yeah we also got us about under just underneath the stack half a stack of sugar shells we did pretty good on the gold and ironing goods we got four diamonds not that bad and i forgot to get my other dragon head so we only have one dragon head and when i go back through the end city well the end gateway i'm probably gonna be like "Ooh, i can go get another pair of lutra no no we can't no no that's the lutra that's on our back but yeah, um, the other blocks is these, I just like to take the end rods from the top of the end cities just to show that I have raided that spot before. But yeah, all the other blocks is just random blocks that we got and throughout our, um, let's say our adventures, our spoils, yeah, just stuff that we randomly got while we was out there raiding the end cities. But with all that done, if you like the video, guys, leave a like down below. It helps my confidence in the video out a lot. 
But uh, on the other note, if you want to keep up with this type of content, subscribe. And if you don't want to do neither one of those things and just want to keep up with this series, the Let's Play Unhinged, which it has actually become unhinged uh, as of this episode. Yeah, that Earth Golem is kind of making it a little bit unhinged. So now I'm not really lying when I'm saying Let's Play Unhinged. So, if you just want to keep up with the Let's Play Unhinged, go over to the Twitter and I will I post every time I drop a video and it will tell you specifically what kind of content I'm dropping at the time. But with all that further ado, we are going to collect our loot, put it back into the shulker box, not the shulker box, the, in, the ender chest, words, words. We're going to yoink that ender chest up, and yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Okay,